today's the day that we build Devastator. So here they all are. Um, squeeze in a little bit. There you go. There you go. And we got all my little Constructicons. It's not actually connected. Um, before we ha we can build Devastator, I actually have to show you how to build Devastator. I mean, you've already you already know how to build these guys, so just like build it out of the way. You know how to build this head. Here are all the pieces you need to build Devastator's head. And I got bright. Slide that out of the way. So you got your Travis brick. Obviously, this is the base, so it goes right in front. That right there. Then you have got jumper plate. And the side pieces, the tiles, and then this goes back here. You just fill up the space in the back, and there you go. That was here's head. This can also work as a Optimus Maximus head if you change the black with blue. Let me just get this. Yeah. Lego piece fell. Right in where the camera is supposed to be. Um, rebuild this. So right now, as you can see, it's a Menasaur head. All I did was take this piece out. But if you just swap all of the black with blue, this can become a Optimus Maximus head. So yeah. And you can't build Devastator without his whole body, am I right? <laughs> so I'm going to build these parts in tiny, tiny sections. So it's bite-sized and more understandable. So you're gonna put this here, this here, second set of pieces you need to build Devastator's torso. front like that and then well okay let's put that put that back and then you should have something like this um also in case you're wondering I didn't build any weapons for Devastator because I don't have that many purple pieces, so. And if I did build him a weapon, um, I have no idea how he'd hold it, due to how his hands are built. You don't have to have that black detailed colored tile, whatever. You can just have a plain black tile. You've got these. These, um... And, yeah, and then you're going to get the purple piece down there, and then, 
that piece. And then this grill will just go on the back. And they have Devastator's uh, chest piece. And this cabin right there. The bottom one right there, so kind of lines up with this. And yeah. And since these two are built, this can connect. Oh wait, do we don't do that yet? Do we do that? Uh, I don't know why I'm asking you, I'm the one that built this. Why doesn't it look good? Oh, right, because it's backed up. Um, yeah, that's good. So you can just connect these. Just connect like that. And then this. Go right on the back to become long house connection. I can see it starting to take form. And here's where it all started when I was building this thing. I was planning to just make a part where it connected the legs and then, you know, it could actually combine properly. And then I'd have this piece, um, that was Theater's chest piece, also connected to the leg connectors. But eventually I kept building and building until I was satisfied and I just kind of came to this giant chunk. So... There's the pieces, and I'm going to show you how to build it. Also, this is a minifigure stand. Minifigure stand, and um, I don't know how many people have this piece. I doubt many people do, though. I bet you have at least these pieces, though. Um, and then... Oh, what the heck? Okay, these still go on here. Was it the middle? They go right up front and center, and then you just get that. Right here, the kind of form a crotch piece. Let's just go back here. Was it like that? Ugh, I don't know. Um. Anyways, I guess when you have that. Uh, what the heck? Oh, ooh, okay. So, just try to pry this purple chest piece off. Yep, we have that here. This that's good, and then that's where it all connected. This is something like what I was trying to build at first, but it just grew and grew and grew. Then once that's going to come out there, then you connect this. And yes, it does connect that way. That piece that I was unsure if it's supposed to go there. Yes, it goes there. You just have to you just have to slide it over and it kinda connects and stuff. So yeah, there you go. Oh wow, nine minutes. Alright, let's get a combine of this thing. Well, here are all of the combined sections and I'm if I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if I've put long haul in the right way. So the legs are gonna combine into these two squares right here. Once you've got the legs done, we can move on to long haul and wait, wait, long haul and hook. Long haul just plugs into these studs up here. Now he sits there securely. I hope he sits there securely. With this stud right here, he'll plug it into the middle anti stud right there. And this is confusing, so I'm just going to say right here for long haul's combined mode, his legs need to be all the way up. In order to combine this properly, you need this back, and then once you have it connected, just move it back up and have the hands wrapped around hook a little bit. If you want to have it combined without long haul, then yeah, I agree with you. 
And when I was designing this, I actually intended this to look like the truck bed, I guess. So, yeah. It also looks thinner, but I'm going to keep long haul on. And that little stud will connect into this little stud. Well, there's the first arm. Now you got to the, get to the last arm. This stud will plug it into the bottom. I'm trying to point with my pinky. It will go into the bottom anti-stud. So the shoulder of this arm should look something like this. And finally, the head. Also, adjust the chest plate. And there's Devastator in all of his glory. So I think this looks pretty good. Um, break. Um, I mean, Bone Crusher's arm might be a bit too high, but yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna go to the articulation since this is on a stud. Oh crap! I had to get a bit of extra height for this, but since it's on a stud, I can rotate all around without popping off. If you're careful, the thumb, I'm just gonna, the thumb goes in and out, fingers are on ball joints, but they tend to pop off, and technically there's wrist rotation, but this piece will come off. Put that back on there, and then, yeah. Devastator stability isn't that good. I personally like to have his arm kind of like like this, where it looks like he's like about to grab you. This arm can't rotate on the stud because the treads are in the way, but the fingers can articulate back and forth because they're on clips. I'm not going to articulate it because it's just going to keep falling over and stuff. This leg can like... If it stays on since it's on one stud. Stud rotation again. This one, this one can't rotate because his legs in the back are restricting it. So, yeah. The head can spin all the way around because, once again, it's on a stud. So yeah, that's Devastator. And, uh... In terms of articulation and stability, he isn't that good. And he isn't that bad either. It's kind of like in the middle. But, I'd say, design-wise, I like his design pretty well. Um... It's kind of got the same, like, G1 design, but it went a bit different with the arms, and I kind of liked how it changed the arms. Because in the original G1 toy, you have to connect the forearms and the hands, but this time it's just integrated onto the arm. But his arms are really short, and this is probably why. I'm still going to do um, size comparisons, so let me just get some size comparisons real quick. I think he's a pretty good scale. And here's some vehicle mode size comparisons. Core Class Starscream and Deluxe Bumblebee? I think it's a Deluxe. Um, you can tell from this scale that I think Manosaur was around the same height as Bumblebee, so you can see that Devastator is just a tiny bit taller. I'm just going to give you... Look from all angles. Yeah, the back's kind of messy. He looks best from the front. Here he is next to a Combiner Wars uh, Devastator mode. Scrapper, you can tell. Yeah, the, the Combiner Wars one is far taller, way taller. I've upgraded the lighting a bit, I guess you could say. 
I'm just going to do another and turn around. So yeah, that's really all there is to this Devastator. So yeah. See you next time, I guess. Why was Bonecrusher's video longer than this one?